Hello folks, uh, this is Ron with uh, Ron's uh, Drone Tech and Camera Channel here. Um, I got the, uh, you could, as you can probably see in front of you, I have the Scotty 2 drone in the case with that logo on top and I have the uh, beacon and I have the um, the controller over there. And uh, my good friend Marcus Crawford reminded me last night uh, to make sure that I update my uh, beacon and controller uh, along with the drone. He knew I updated the drone to the uh, latest firmware and of course the uh, phone um, app is updated to the latest iOS app. Uh, you know, I don't know about Android. I don't use any Android devices at the, at the moment, but I am on the latest version of the iOS app. But anyhow, I did not uh, go through and update the beacon and or the um, controller. So uh, I will show you how to do that process right now. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, the process for updating the uh, beacon and the uh, controller is to plug them into the uh, the drone and let them uh, do their thing. So um, let's get the uh, Skydio 2 out right now. So, so here is the case that the Skydio came in. So there is the drone. So let's get the drone out. Let's take the um, gimbal guard off and uh, pop one of the batteries on. You, if you haven't seen this before, they have the uh, magnetic batteries that's line the, uh, you know, the connectors up here and just get it close and you can hear that secure clamp. So, okay, so we have it, uh, you have it on now. Um, now, this is the, uh, the USB-C port in the back here. Now, I have a little protective cover that I bought off of Rick Smith's uh, uh, store so to keep the uh, drone uh, dry, dust, and, and dirt-free while out in the field. So, okay, we're going to put that down. And we're going to take the, um, this is the charger and the charging cable that came with the drone. So we're going to use this. This is a USB-C on both ends. So we're going to plug that in here. And we're going to turn the drone on by holding this button down here. You, uh, you hold it in for about three seconds. Okay, now it's, uh, you see those blue lights flashing in the front there. That means it's coming on. So wait until it gets all the way fired up here. When the blue lights go solid, you know it's ready. I'm not going to fly, but I'm going to make sure it's ready for the update. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna, this is the, the beacon that you can get for the, it uh, doesn't come with the Scuddy, you have to buy it extra. So we're gonna plug that into the drone right now via the USB-C port in the bottom. And then you see the, uh, the beacon coming on, connecting beacon, 100% charged. And if we just give it a few minutes, it'll probably, you know, tell us it's doing the update. Maybe I have to actually turn it on. So we're gonna hold these two buttons down here to turn it on. Okay, now we're turning it on now. So it would not update in the sleep mode. It, it needs to be on. So I'll cut this part out of the video here while it's, you know, it, up here it is updating the beacon. And we can see that right now. So it's doing its update. Just took a few seconds. If this takes too long here, I'll, I'll cut all this out here. Looks like it's going fairly quickly. Of course, I don't know how many times that bar will go um, left to right on this, but if it only goes one time, this will go quickly. Okay, maybe it's, I think the, the it probably did the update. Now it's rebooting itself to apply the update to the beacon. All right. Uh, 100% fully charged. It's telling us uh, don't use uh, it, it launch spaces blocked here. Yes, because it's inside. So it's smart enough to know that. So I believe it's uh, fully up to date now. So um, that is good. So we will shut the beacon down now by hitting the red button. One, two. There we go. It's shutting down. All right, the beacon should be fully updated and charged. So we'll put that to the side here and we'll get our controller out. Now what I have here is 
This is a product by uh, Sunny Life. They make a lot of uh, accessories for drones and GoPros and all those type of things. This was originally made for the Parrot and Nafi because when I open up, you'll see that the uh, the controller is actually the Parrot and Nafi controller, but it's uh, rebranded as a uh, Skydio uh, device, but it's actually the Anafi uh, controller. Now, I also, this is Sunny Life, but I think I also ordered this from Rick, Rick, Rick Smith's uh, store. So, um, if you need these products, go over and check the store out. So, okay, now, I'm not sure here. I'm probably gonna open this up. This opening this controller up turns it on. You can see the light there. Now we're gonna plug it into the drone. The back has a USB-C port right there. Okay, so we're gonna plug that in and see what happens with the lights. Okay, already the blue light flash once. And it's, it's continuing to flash now. So I don't exactly know what, uh, there we I can sort of have a white light there instead of the blue light. It blinked a little bit. Now we got a green coming, a green flashing. So I imagine this is doing, you know, is this doing the update now? Probably those initial lights were uh, uploading the update to the controller, and now it's probably applying the update to the controller. If anybody knows any different from what I'm saying, please leave in the comments uh, below here. Or if Skydio is watching, you can make any comments to anything I'm telling people wrong in this video. Okay, the green light has stopped flashing and remained solid. And now it went back to white again. And it just blinked once with the white. And now, we, now it went blue, now it's blinking blue, now it stopped again. All right, I think this may have did it. I think that may have been the full update process for the um, the controller for the Scudio 2 drone. Uh, we will hang in there just for a second to see if the light does anything else here, but I think we are done. So the uh, the process is, you know, kind of simple if you, if you know. I mean, it is simple. You just have to know how to get started, you know, to plug these devices in and... Uh, Make sure you turn the beacon on, and then that has an LCD screen. So it's kind of self-explanatory where the uh, the controller here, you just have to watch the lights until they settle down. They go, you know, from, uh, you know, you, you see uh, red, green, white, and blue. So you have to remember, you have to see all the lights go and blink until it becomes a solid blue to indicate that the uh, firmware update is done. And this probably this blue light here probably means it's charging. Let's see on the back. You see the, the red light on the back there means it's charging. When, whenever you plugged in, you see that thing. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm almost sure we're uh, updated here. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're ready to go. In fact, uh, here's how we'll test it. We'll uh, turn this off. We'll unplug it. We'll plug it back in again. We'll open it up. Let's see what happens. Here we get a blinking blue. All right, it's gonna do nothing but blink a few times blue and then solid. So that's indicating that it's not trying to do anything. When you see all the other colors and you know it's doing something, in this case, it was doing the firmware update that it received from the drone. So I will put the all the, firm, the firmware number that we're using here to update everything and, and I'll even put the iOS app update uh, information here too so um it's, so um it's important that you get this uh done because um our friend al duran over at duranify he was on the older software and he had his drone out over the james river and he lost connection he was close by but he lost connection and he was expecting the drone to do a uh return to home on you know on a loss of connection but it just hovered in place 
until the battery got so low that it just lowered itself down in the river because of a you know a firmware problem that Scudio you know wasn't maybe wasn't aware they're aware of now they wasn't aware of that second that uh, it wasn't uh, returning home in all instances on lost the connection so and and they will replace Al's Al's drone because they no, it was, uh, you know, a firmware problem and uh, they will replace it. So that's the good news. So um, I hope everybody, you know, got something out of this video. Don't forget to, um, you know, uh, hit the thumbs up if you got anything out of this. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the uh, ring the bell notification button. And don't forget to swing by on Monday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to the YouTube channel called Drone Nation, all one word, where uh, myself, Ron Brown and my co-host Marcus Crawford uh, discuss drones, uh, mostly camera drones and mostly affordable drones, like kind of under a thousand dollar drones. I mean, affordable is a you know a debatable word, but uh, you know we, we do we'll talk about the Mavic 2 Pro and you know the Altel Evo 6K drone. We will talk about them occasionally, but we mostly focus on the more affordable uh, camera drones, basically drones that are you know a great. Um, you know, they're a great buy for your money, like something like the Mavic Air 2, which you get a lot of bang for the buck. But, okay, but don't forget, Drone Nation, YouTube channel, go over, subscribe, hit the bell over there so you know. But almost, you could, it's like clockwork, we, we appear Monday nights at uh, 9 p.m. Now, we will be taking the Labor Day uh, 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 weekend uh, holiday off, so we won't be on that Monday night, but we're on every other Monday night. So, um, that's it, folks, and we'll see you in the next one.